Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today, we are looking at the fifth grade concept of multiplying fractions and whole numbers with models. This is standard 5.3i in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 36 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Jacqueline works five days a week. She spends one third of each day at work. And the model is shaded to represent the amount of time that Jacqueline spends at work each week. So we've got day one. We're going to assume that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And as we can see, right, we've got uh, one third shaded for each. Okay, that seems pretty simple. That's one third. Each of these are going to be one third. And in case we missed it, right, here's our key. And each of these little rectangles here represents one day. And as you can see, each of them are going to be shaded in uh, one out of three pieces. Okay, that's basic, basic fractions stuff we've learned back in uh, third grade. So which expression could be used to determine the number of days that Jacqueline works each week? All right, well, we've got five days, but she doesn't work the full day. She works five sets of one-third, right? So really, she works five one-thirds. And so if we wanted to, right, we could add them all up like that, we could say one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third plus one-third, right? So how many thirds? There's five sets of, of one-third. When we add or subtract fractions, we need to make sure the denominator is the same. In this case, they're all thirds then you add the numerators only. You don't add the denominators. So I've got one third, two third, three third, four third. Okay, so I've got five thirds. That's how many days she works. She works five thirds of, of a day. And if we want to, right, we could shade it in to kind of figure out how do we write that as a mixed number, right? So there's one third, two thirds, three thirds four-thirds, five-thirds, so I see looks like I've got one whole and then two-thirds left over. All right, but I don't see repeated addition. This works, but I don't see this there. But we should be thinking, hey, you know what? Repeated addition is going to be the same as multiplication. I've got five groups of one-third. So how does five times one-third actually work? Well, here's the thing about multiplying fractions, and you'll learn more about that in sixth grade. You can multiply fractions a lot easier than adding or subtracting. When you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. You multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Any whole number, like five, can be turned into a fraction if you put it over one. So, so five wholes. So that's one two, three, four, five, right? That's just five circles, but each of those are just broken up into one, so that's five holes. So what did I say you could do? Multiplying fractions is a cinch. You literally multiply straight across. So five times one equals five, and we needed to make it a fraction, so we made it five over one. Any whole number can be turned into a fraction, by just putting it over denominator of 1, 1 times 3 makes 3. So if you knew this, if you knew this was a multiplication problem, right, uh, you're going to see that we get the same thing. And so we can represent this repeated addition with this multiplication problem right here. So our answer truly is going to be J.